In this lesson, I'm going to show you the sixth and final video in the Tinkercad basic skills lessons. Uh, you start the lesson, you scroll down to the last lesson, it says to create a die on the work plane. I'm going to click on the picture again to start the lesson. So like all the other lessons, the instructions are on the left hand side. Uh, and Tinkercad saved the most difficult one for last. Not that this is any more difficult than uh, really challenging. It's just a, a little complicated uh, compared to the other ones. Uh, this project is all about the work plane and how to make it work for you. So I'm going to click Next to begin the lesson. As you can see, there's a die on the screen. And if I rotate around, I can see that there are numbers uh, throughout it. And even underneath it, there's a number. Uh, and I'm going to click on the Home button to kind of get my bearings straight. And I'm going to zoom in to see the die a little bit closer. Uh, so uh, this is we're starting a die that's almost done. Simply need to add the 5 and 6. So go ahead and use your mouse on the view cube and turn around the die. You'll see a number on all the sides. Continue into the next step. Now, here's where things get a little more interesting. You'll notice that we have called the work plane, which is basically like the floor of your uh, viewing window. And any shape you drag onto it drags onto the floor. Uh, now, sometimes we want to uh, put things on the side of a shape. Well, you can actually move the work plane to the side of whatever you're looking for. So you can find the work plane tool at the top of the browser on the right hand scene screen just above the shapes. And this work plane is right up here. Uh, so if I click on that work plane and I uh, drag it to where uh, the little picture is, really anywhere on that side, and if I let go, you'll notice that the floor moved. It's now orange and it's now on the face of the die. And so any shape we drag onto it will have uh, will be on this side of the work plane. Once you have the work plane uh, in place, uh, you can click on next to go to the next step. And it says the work plane should look like it's sitting on the front of the die. The instructions say scroll down to the shapes and find the numbers. So if I go over to basic shapes right here, if I scroll down, there is no numbers over here. I actually have to click on basic shapes and choose the text options here. If I click on text, you'll see that there is letters A, B, C, D, E. And if I go below those, there are numbers. So I'm going to find the 5, and I'm going to drag it to where the number 5 is on the screen. I'm going to position it near the highlighted area in orange, and I'm going to click Next to go on to the next uh, step. This is because the 5 is sitting on the front of the die, we need to make some adjustments. Let's scale the thickness of the 5 down to 1 millimeter so it matches the height uh, of the other numbers. And so you'll see that there are five white areas here. That's the length and width, but the one right in the center, that's the, uh, the depth. So if I click on that one in the center here, I'm going to click on the number four, and I'm going to change that to a number one and press enter. It'll now be one millimeter tall. Now it says you can change the snap grid from 1 to 0.25 to help position the 5 uh, around. Um, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now it's saying drag a work plane to the top of the dice. So if I go to the work plane, I'm going to drag it to the top of the die. And you'll notice now the floor has moved above the die. Okay. And so now we're going to put a different number up top here. And click next and it's going to say to drag the number six and so i'm going to take the number six and drag it to uh, the center of the top part right here again you don't have to be perfect for the tutorial but uh, close is good enough i'm going to click next onto the next step and just like before i'm going to change it this to a height of one millimeter so i click on this top part change it a four to a one if I don't want to do that, I can click on the white and just drag it down to a 1. Uh, this is where you can drag really tall or really skinny. I'm going to keep it at 1. 
and then click the next step. Now, this orange work plane, you might want to get rid of it at some point. In order to get rid of the work plane, you just click on the work plane again and drag it to anywhere but the shape, kind of anywhere off on the side. So I'm going to let go of here. Now we're back to the blue familiar work plane. If I click on the home button, uh, that's back to what our normal view looks like. And so now I can inspect this. I can look at a whole bunch of different angles. Uh, I notice that maybe my letters might not be perfectly centered. So uh, I can select the five in the dice and click my align tool and I can center it uh, in two different ways. Uh, and I can do the same thing to the six. And I'm going to do the align. It's already centered in the middle here, but it's not centered up and down. Now I feel a little bit better that my numbers are matching up. I'm going to click next. Almost done. See, it wasn't as difficult as it, uh, you might think. Then it says select all the shapes, including uh, the die, and then group them together. So I'm going to select everything and click on group. And then I'm done. Congratulations. You've now finished all six basic lessons in the Tinkercad uh, tutorials, and you've made uh, a die in the process.